You mentioned uh, the fact that um, the Republicans do, as we know, do control the House now and the Senate and the White House. Uh, and you've been around a while. What are the chances, when any party has all three, isn't there uh, the risk of overplaying your hand? Absolutely. Absolutely. And as much as a good Democrat, I, I don't want to say in 2009 we overplayed our hand, which I don't think we did. I think we actually followed our mandate and we did what we were supposed to do. But when you have that much power, you, the threat is not from the other party. <laughs> the threat is from the, the, the moderates or the, the, the people who are in seats that are difficult to hold and to win in your party. That's, that's where the threat is. It's from um, the people who are up this cycle who are Republicans who are running in bluer or purple districts in areas of the country where they know that that Trump agenda, that very extreme far right Trump agenda, doesn't necessarily play the way they want it to play. So I think that, you know, Republicans face an internal threat. I don't think they're worried. I don't think Mitch McConnell sits up at night worrying about Chuck Schumer. I think he's going to sit up at night worrying about Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski and Bob Corker um, and, and folks like that, people from the middle of his party who are going to have to be there for him to be able to ram through the, the agenda that he wants to push And through. some of whom are going to, I don't know about those ones you mentioned, but those who are up for re-election uh, in 2018 Absolutely. who don't want to go before their voters and say, yeah, for example, again, we killed Obamacare, but we don't have anything yet. We haven't come up with a plan yet to help you out.